Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I finally have the part two of the merchandise update. I was supposed to post, supposed to post, that sounds like I was about to start a rhyme, right? Um, this video, probably a few days after I had posted the other one, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of forgot. The truth is I had already filmed this last week, but as I was re-watching the playback, I noticed that a bug flew into my hair and it freaked me out because every time I would turn my head I could see the bug like getting further and further inside and it freaked me out. I was like, oh my god, I don't want to show that. I look like I have a bug burrowing inside of my skull. Fortunately, I like kind of shook it out and it got out because I looked at it right after I finished filming so it freaked me out so bad. It was really gross. But anyways. Um, so like I said, this is the part two. I really don't have much that much stuff to show you guys today. Um, not that much Hunger Games related stuff. The truth is I am starting to run out of those things. Um, but whatever I had in the part one, I think it's pretty much still there. And now I'm going to show you what I have for this part two. So, let us get started. Okay, now this is a Breaking Dawn item. It's from Breaking Dawn part one. This is what the box looks like. This one's mine, so I, obviously it's already open. Um, the item is not inside. I actually already pulled it out. But inside you're going to get a box with some tissue paper. And the tissue paper says breaking down. And then you get this most magnificent um, framed photo of our beloved Bella and Edward. Because who wouldn't want to wake up to this wonderful fictional couple that is no longer together in real life. So this is what you get. It's not, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what this is made out of. Something fake. It's not glass or plastic or anything like that. Not even this part's plastic. I think you can actually take this off. I'm gonna do it. I haven't done it before. I'm gonna take it off. If, oh. Now this was an unexpected surprise. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if this is supposed to be Bella's photo frame? Does that mean that she still loves Jacob? Does it mean that Bella still loves Jacob? Of course she does. Alright, so it's you can flip it. You can either have Edward and Bella or a very sully looking Jacob on the back. He's so sullen. Look at that. Look at that sullen. Oh no! I fell. Okay, well, I'll get it afterwards. But yeah, you get a picture frame of either Bella or Edward or you can flip it around and it's of Jacob. So I have, oh, I don't know where I put them. There were somewhere here. I know I have a few of those. If, oh, I've got four of those if you guys are interested. Then I also have this box, which I think I've showed it before. Maybe I haven't. But it's of those, um, and half of them just flew out, of these, what are they called? Hunger Games collectible figurines. Um, there's supposed to be 27 of them in, in total. I never got around to collecting all 27 and that's why I'm trying to get rid of them. I swear now I have like a graveyard of things underneath the dust now. It's fine. It's, we'll get the stuff afterwards. Oh, I also have this Divergent Dauntless Seal Lanyard. I had two of them but one of them already sold. The one that sold was one that was not in a plastic package, even though it was brand new. And then I have another Twilight item, and this is from New Moon, and it's a tag bracelet that says, And so the lion fell in love with the lamb. So just a cute little, almost like a charm bracelet, except it only has that one thing in the middle. Now, surprises came out for New Moon because this is actually a line that Edward says to Bella in Twilight, the first movie. Because, you know, they're all Twilight, but you, you guys get what I mean. Alright, so we have that, and then I got some posters, and I have a few different posters, right now these are the ones that I could find, but I have some of these Mad Max um, Fury Road posters that they gave out at AMC, and I have two of these. I actually didn't get these, my mom did, and then she realized she didn't need any Mad Max Fury posters because, well, for one, she doesn't like Mad Max, and... Yeah, it's not the kind of poster your mom would want at home, so got two of those. And then I have some of these. I got one, two, three. But you guys just love watching me count. I've got nine of these 
Hobbit posters. And I got these when I went to the marathon. Yeah, the Battle of the Five Armies marathon. It was the one where you can watch all three movies at once. And they're cute little posters. I would say probably something like 11 by 17 more or less. The same thing with the Mad Max Fury. They're about the same size. They're in really great condition. They may have really minor handling work, but nothing, like no dents or tears or anything like that. And then, I feel like I have more stuff and now it feels like there's less stuff. So I don't know, maybe I'm just not grabbing your stuff. Next I have these, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, okay. My Little Ponytails. Okay, I have these vinyl collectible My Little Ponytails. These are Funko products, if I'm not, yeah, they are, they're Funko. It says on the bottom, it says Funko. And these are Hot Topic exclusive pre-release. And I'll just show each, I have four of them. I originally thought about keeping them for myself. Truth is, as much as I like My Little Ponytails, I'm like, I'm a huge ponytail fan, so. This one is Big Macintosh, and it looks like this, the box, and it is a little beat up here on the side, but it came like that when I bought it. Like, this was the best box that I could find the day that I bought it at Hot Topic. Then I have uh, Trixie Lula Moon, another pre-release item. Now, I don't know if it's with all of them, but with the Trixie Lula Moon and this Princess Twilight Sparkle, which I'll go ahead and show you right now, some of these came in variant editions. I know that these two came in some translucent editions where it was pretty much like a blind, well, it was a blind box. I think you could only get those variants if you order them off of Hot Topic. I did, but I got the regular ones. I think you can still get those variants somewhere like on eBay, but they're kind of expensive. And then last I have Applejack. Um, I also have some Terminator Genesis AMC exclusive posters that they gave out during the opening night, but I don't have them with me. I have them in my other house and um, I can't really show them to you guys, obviously, because they're in the other house. But if you check out the link that I posted in the description box for my eBay, because I am selling a few things on eBay. I'm a little frustrated with Store Envy right now. But um, if you check out that link, you'll see it there. Um, I have, I think, about 15 of those posters, and they're really nice posters. They're also about the same size as these, 11 by 17. I think it's about eight, you guys. I really don't have anything left to sell. Now, at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of this stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll have any new stuff for the mocking um, for, for the mock for the mocking Jay for mocking Jay part one. Um, I have seen now that for mocking Jay part two, NECA hasn't released anything yet. Obviously, they do it about a month or two before the movie, but there is stuff from the sorry from the Hunger Games exhibition. They have the store. I'm going to post a link to the store in the description box as well. So, um, you guys can either check out, for my stuff, either Store Envy and then a few things that I have on um, eBay. And the truth is, I think I might mm -hmm. be closing down, sorry about that, I don't know what that noise was. I might be closing down my Store Envy store because I had a huge problem with them and um, I don't think I'm going to be using their services anymore. So that's it, you guys. I don't have anything else right now in terms of merchandise. I might find some stuff because I know it's very likely that I have some other posters that I want to sell. I just don't remember because I have like a pretty big collection of posters right now. But yeah. So as per usual, if you guys are interested in anything, you can go ahead and leave me a comment below. You can go to my Store Envy site and use the contact form there. Or you can even go to my eBay contact page and send me a message through there. Um, the best way really is one of those options. People often leave me comments here and I reply and they never get back to me. So I don't know if it's just they're not interested or whatever. I have set prices for everything you guys, but I'm always willing to talk about prices. So if you go to my store and you see a price and you think that's like set in stone, it's really not. Just get in touch with me and we'll see about the prices. What else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it you guys. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Always leave me comments below. I like it 
you guys leave me comments that I can reply to and definitely please consider subscribing to my channel um, I might have another video up tomorrow I'm not sure but I'll definitely have a video up for Thursday for book review Thursdays and that's it I am out of here I will see you guys in the next video bye